six minutes left. Collison dishes outside for ship. He won't shoot it. Here's Holiday, the freshman. And the McDonald's All-American will back it away. Yeah, just too much dribbling. Now they need to get that high screen again and spread the floor a little bit, let Collison create something. Boya set that screen. Crowd wanted to walk there. Shot clock at one. Ship has the first oh. and he got another one. And a foul there. There was a whistle off of the ground. It certainly did off the inbounds. Holiday stopping court stolen away by Texas and Justin Mason. Great lead by Mason defensively. Here's James in the corner. Too short. I'm not sure that's his game off of one pass. You know, he shot that last jumper in transition. That was more in rhythm, but after Texas had worked so hard defensively, I'm not sure you want to take a jump shot that early. You know, they've got the foul situation in their, in their advantage. Get to the rim. You know, it's UCLA that's been getting to the rim and really attacking off the bounce. Collison trying to do it one-on-one. -on -one. Rebounded away by Ashley. And Texas trying to tie or take the lead here. Well, when they met last year at Pauley Pavilion, it came down to the last 10 seconds. Are we headed that way again this December in Texas? Holiday doing a nice job staying with A.J. Abrams, but so difficult. Abrams can't connect. Rebound tipped. Putting UCLA on the line. Only 14 fouls for Texas in the second half. Boya swings to Dragovic on that wing. Ship will lose his dribble. A bounce pass. It was not a bad pass, it appeared, but mishandled. And UCLA gives it up. A good idea. Just couldn't execute it. So the Longhorns back in possession. They're number eight. UCLA number nine. Texas calling a set play. Going to go with a high screen. We'll pick and pop, but it's refused. James into the lane with a pull up 14 footer and he knocked it down. That's the Damian James that's all Big 12. Now he says his favorite announcer is Dick Vitale, but he's really warming to Jay Billis. <laughs> How come they never pick play by play guys in that? Isn't that a tragedy? This so, is, so discriminatory. I can't understand it. 322 left. Here's Ship off the wing. Working on Abrams. Pretty good battle there on the fall away. Rebound. Tipped once, twice. Another scramble on the deck. This one will be tied up, free in numbers, at least in the rebounding category. Yeah, if he's not going to rebound, Jeff Capel shouldn't even play him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the guy, the guy averaged, he gets so many 20 rebound games that that six looks like he was ill. Silly. I know. 25 points, though, tonight as the Sooners hang on. Mason off the fake. Abrams will fire it. Give him 28. At three from the corner, and Texas has the lead back. And Dave, that's only the second assist for the Longhorns in this second half. Collison wants the answer, but it's blocked. Actually came up. Here's Ship with it. Keith open for just a second. Good patience by UCLA. Nice follow by Aboya, who's been everywhere here in the second half. UCLA passed up three or four shots that would have been halfway decent shots in order to get a layup by reversing the ball to the other side of the floor. Okay, the boy in now with 10 rebounds. Just about half of those have come on the offensive end. The floater, too strong off the glass. Mason fights for the rebound. Longhorns win it back, coming up on two minutes to play. A typical Justin Mason. When possession of the ball is vital, he's the guy that comes away with it. A one-point game. Abrams wants it. Lost the handle, but drew the foul. Abrams goes at 28 points. Has not missed at the line. But the ball going in. Such a pure shooter. He's been tremendous with 30 points. Over the foul situation. Texas with fouls to give. Leading by three at home. Day. He's held, fouled by Damian James. 
Allison trying to inbound. Over the top for Ship. Ship has been big in these second 20 minutes. Wants it again. Denied. Collison, long range. UCLA keeps it alive again. It's Holiday. They're getting opportunities. Need to give the ball to Darren Collison and let him let him initiate offense. Here comes that high screen. A lot of time off that clock. 107 left. Collison gives it up. Here's Ship again. Shot clock at 12 for UCLA. Ship out with the dribble. Shot clock at nine. Wagovich gives it up. Shot clock at six. Five. Four. He goes down and is tripped and fouled. Weber for the Bruins. Has a full shot clock. Gets it in. Over the top to Holiday. They also have to watch a boy on a tip in. He's done a very good job on the offensive glass. Here comes the high screen. Collison gives it up on the baseline. A boy with a dribble down. Tough angle and can't get it to go. A scrap for that rebound and oh. another tie-up. It's going to stay on this end, however. Wow. Collison doubled up deep into the corner. Somehow got out of there with it. Holiday gives it up. Collison straight on. Too strong. Johnson high up for the rebound, trying to save it. It's batted around, and it's going to be over the line back to UCLA. Can Texas be expected to make it? 20 seconds left. Well, they got to finish it with a big defensive rebound and make sure they hang on to the ball. 15 seconds left and a foul in 23 seconds. And nothing to show. Ship too strong. James. Pulls down the rebound. Well, that was a big time rebound by Damian James. Ten seconds. Abrams with a chance to pretty much solve this game away, but he misses the first one. He doesn't miss very often, so you don't see it that often, I guess. Got the second one. 68 64. Played 30 games a year, though. They go 30 and 0 three years in a row. All right. Donaldson, the man with the ball. Quickly down the lane, lays it up. That won't fall. Four seconds left. Tip three, four, five times. And that's going to do it. The clock runs out, and Texas wins a dandy tonight. 68-64, beating UCLA for the second year in a row.